up, everybody? I hope all of y'all are doing undeniably fan freaking tastic out there. It's Monday, and you know what that means? It's vlog day once again. Hope you folks out there had a good week. My week, it's been fine. It's been busy. It's been hectic. Got a lot of stuff I gotta talk about. Um, I, I'll, I'll admit, um, I, I've had a week to think about this. But I, I, I'm kind of a little ticked off about The Boys Season 4. And pre-spoiler alert, there will be a spoiler-free review in this episode of the vlog today because there's like a lot I gotta vent about it. Alright? But not too soon. There's some other stuff I gotta talk about first. And we'll cross that bridge later on in this vlog when we get to it. When that time comes, I'll direct you viewers out there to a timestamp in the description below for you to skip ahead to. Alright? So now, um, first order of business I gotta discuss. Um, I wanna give a special shout out to my girlfriend Queen Enterprises for, um, hanging out with me this past weekend. Um, this past weekend, it was a fun one. Me and her, we went to, um, Southtown Wake Park this past Saturday for a church trip, and it was fun. Both of us tried wakeboarding for the first time, and neither of us could get the hang of it. Queen, she ended up falling for the first time, and she was immediately traumatized by it, but she still laughed it off, though. Me, I gave it a go three times, and I couldn't get the hang of it either. All right. I also tried kneeboarding, and I got a little bit further on that one, but not too much. But after that, we ended up going into um, a wipeout area, like like a wipeout obstacle course kind of place. It was just like a lot of solid inflatables out there floating on the water. And, y'all, like, I, I didn't realize how hard it was to try and use two handles alone, try and lift up 250 pounds soaking wet onto a platform. Because... In addition to my own body weight, I was like having to carry my own body weight soaking wet as well as a vest. And yeah, it, it, it was hard for me to climb up on that stuff. And I, I think from the um, wakeboarding, um, I, I think from the wakeboarding handle that I was holding and from me trying to pull myself up out of the water, I think I ended up doing a number on my um, arms because... All y'all, y'all, all day. My arms have been super stiff. Okay, like my, like the muscles in my arms and my biceps, they're, they're they're like very very sore right now. So, y'all pray for my arms. Um, but still, other than that, it was a fun trip. It was a very fun trip. And after we got back from that, me and Queen we went to go see the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. It was freaking amazing, but there's going to be a review about that in a future episode of Everybody. Y'all stay tuned for that, okay? Now, um, other than that, like, early this, early this week, I had every intention of uploading a couple of reactions, but unfortunately, YouTube Terms of Service, they kind of had other ideas for me. So, I think I kind of dodged a bullet. And the reason I say that is because earlier this week, I, sometime last week, I found out that my reaction channel ended up getting a strike on it. And I was struck with the strike yet again. But this strike, it wasn't for a copyright claim, though. It was for a violation against terms of service. Th the email said that the video had nudity in it, which no, it didn't. And the, the, the video in question was, I'm in debt. It, it was a try not to laugh. It was a try not to laugh challenge where the title says something about if I lose, no, if I laugh, I owe them a million dollars, something like that. But the reaction video, it only got like 10 views. All right. Now, normally when I get a copyright strike, or normally when I get a copyright claim, rather, doesn't matter, I always get a timestamp directing me towards where the copyrighted material was at. When it comes to this violation strike, I didn't get no timestamp to show me what the heck was wrong with it. 
even though I tried skimming through the video, I just couldn't see what the heck was wrong with the video. So, I went to go just ignore it and say, screw it, but nah, something told me to appeal it instead. And now I know I should be stupid for that because a small YouTuber trying to appeal a strike? That is obscene, but good news though, good news though, my appeal has been accepted and the strike was removed. So yeah, bullet dodged, I must say. But um, with that being said, I'm going to go and see if I can go ahead and upload those two reaction videos today. Now, I do have uploads planned for this week. But I just don't know what order I can put them in just yet. One thing I can confirm though is that Saturday will be a ring ramblings for SummerSlam. I am excited about that event. Alright. And now, um, this is what we need to talk about for my, um, my review for the boys. My review for the boys season four. And this is going to be spoiler filled, so if you want to go ahead and skip ahead, you can. I'm going to give y'all time to go check that timestamp out so you can know when to um, skip ahead to, alright? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I thought The Boys Season 4 was pretty cool. Alright, for what it was worth, I think it was pretty cool. It, from somebody like me working as a professional wrestler, I know the importance of what it means to work the crowd, right? Like, when, when, when it comes to a couple of wrestlers in a ring trying to be spot monkeys and flippity floppity whatever, like, they're going too fast and they're not letting the fans have that time to digest the big moments about what happened. And honestly, just thinking about pure chaos, Season 3 may have been the biggest season for them, in my opinion. Like, just thinking about the whole feud between Homelander and Soldier Boy and Billy Butcher getting the, um, the Tent V compound, whatever it is. And Season 4 was taking a very different approach. Like, Season 4, it escalated to certain moments. But then there was going to be like those big moments to where it was letting you savor the taste of it. Like, like the, the main mission of season four, it felt like it was escalating all into episode eight. And then when episode eight came, it's like you, you felt that big storm brewing. Okay, despite everything else that was going on in the season, there was a big massive storm brewing in episode eight. So all those big moments that season four delivered, they made sure that they sweetened the pot for you to savor that taste of theirs, all right? Like, uh, for example, I, I, I did enjoy the um, idea of having um, beat up animals in it. And, and like, the, the, they swerved us big time with that when I, I thought we was about to see a beat up bull take on the boys, and that, that was a different story. and. When it comes to Newman, I she could have easily popped the heads of all those animals if she wanted to, but maybe her powers don't work on people with with, with superpowers. Maybe her head popping ability doesn't work on other soups. I don't know. And like this season, telling the story of Billy Butcher possibly dying, I was starting to get heartbroken for this man. Like. I, I, I know the idea of the boys, they was turning the idea of superheroology on its head. But there was something brewing about season four that I was really starting to get into. And that was the idea that maybe, just maybe, they're going to start showing the good side of suits. The good side of what heroes are supposed to be compared to what Billy Butcher has perceived as his hatred for the suits. Like... They made A-Train turn babyface. That was amazing. Um, like, Ryan, I thought he was going to be one of the good ones trying to break away from Homelander. Um, but, unfortunately, things didn't go according to plan at the very last episode. 
Um, and, and just the more that I'm thinking about it, the angry I'm getting about it, too. And Billy Butcher, he freaking ruined everything. Billy Butcher, he freaking ruined everything. And I didn't think about this till just today, I swear. Um, when Billy Butcher was having mental conversations with his, his dead wife, um, his, his wife told him that he's going to end up killing Homelander just to create another one. Now, at first when she said that, I thought she was talking about Firecracker. But no. Billy Butcher's thirst for revenge is going to end up being his downfall. His mental, his emotional, his psychological downfall. Maybe even his physical one. Because they say that he who seeks revenge needs to dig two graves. But unfortunately, Billy's, Billy's thirst for revenge has left his boys in jeopardy. And he may not even care. Alright. Because, like, I, when Victoria Newman called up Yui and tried to convince him to help her, I started feeling bad for her. And look, I don't care what anybody says about how Victoria Newman deserved to die. Like, Yui, he made some very good points with the speech about trying to forgive. Like, trying to kill all these soups makes them no better than they are. Like, like they're, they're, they're trying to be better than the soups without all the bloodshed. Like, Yui has become tired of the bloodshed. It took him four seasons to finally forgive A-Train. That was no easy feat for him. And everybody saw how A-Train helped out the boys, too. Heck, Billy Butcher was there. He saw A-Train there to help him against their fight against the Deep and Black Noir. But with Billy Butcher killing Newman, he took away... He took away... He killed a mother right in front of his daughter. No, it, Billy Butcher killed a mother right in front of her daughter. And now that daughter of Newman's is going to have to end up growing up in a institution for soups, like like a jail for superhero kids, basically. The same kind of jail that Billy didn't want Ryan to grow up in. Newman could have helped. Newman could have turned over a new leaf, but Billy didn't want to have it. With that whole tentacle, chest tentacle, chest tentacle superpower of his, almost a court from my academia, but with that chest tentacle of his killing Newman, he ruined the whole plan. And him doing that ruined up his entire team too. Because of that, because of Billy Butcher being selfish with his revenge against Newman and Homelander and the whole other superhero lot, he ruined a perfect relationship of Yui and Starlight who are who I think we're about to get married. Yui, he got kidnapped to God knows where. Starlight, she was the only one that escaped. M.M., he ended up getting arrested too. He got taken away from his family because of Billy Butcher's negligence. It's because of that domino effect right there. That domino effect right there of Billy Butcher killing Newman took M.M. away from his family and away from his daughter. And on top of that, he ruined the perfect relationship of Kimiko and Frenchie. And and by the way, Kimiko talking now, she she finally yelled no. She yelled no and Frenchie couldn't even hear it because he was brainwashed to go into the truck. Because Billy Butcher killed Newman, who could have been helpful any way that she could have, Billy Butcher ruined the whole team and now Billy Butcher, he's the only one escaping. With the exception of Starlight, who flew off to who knows where. When we get to season five, <coughs> the only way that this thing gets fixed, in, in my mind, the only way this gets fixed is if A-Train fixes it himself. 
it's going to take A-Train running quickly back onto the scene to undo everything Billy Butcher did. So season 5 gets here and, oh man, am I going to have to wait till 2026 for this crap? Am I? And I heard another, I heard a spin-off series about the, I heard about a spin-off series about the boys called them um, Gen V, like Generation V, I think. I know I gotta take a look into that. Cause I've seen a few clips about that and I, and I gotta take a look into, into it soon. But, yeah, other than that, season, season four was wild and it's just making me think that maybe Billy Butcher is the real villain of the story. Like, I, I, don't, I don't care what anybody says, like, the idea of superheroes and supervillains in the boys is a very, very, very gray area. And I'm ready to see superheroes actually be super in the boys. I'm ready to see a villain actually come out and claim to be an actual villain, okay? Not this Homelander goody goody two shoes crap. I, like I, I, I need to see a real villain, a real superhero in the boys. Like, and I think Billy he might be going down that path. And I don't want to hear anybody talk about the comics. All right. I'm not talking about the comics. Um, if, if we're going to talk comics, go ahead and give me the information. But I don't follow the comics at all. But we're going to see how everything plans out. We're going to see how everything swirls around in what directions. So, spoilers over now. And three, two, one. Spoilers over now. Alright folks, so um, other than the boys review, I know I gotta talk about Deadpool and Wolverine coming up soon. Next week might be a spoiler free review, and in two weeks with Queen Enterprises there, you might see a spoiler review as well as we talk about different scenes happening in the movie. So um, yeah folks. I'm going to go ahead and try to get my uploads ready for this week as well, but I don't know what order everything is going to be going down in. So y'all just stay tuned, okay? And, yeah, y'all, until next time, make sure all of you remember to be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah, I'm out. Love you all. And here comes my hug of appreciation. Bye.